If your child is learning their ABCs, making the alphabet out of Play-Doh or modeling clay is a great activity to help them learn. It's fun and easy. I'll show you how. <laughs> to make our Play-Doh alphabet, you need Play-Doh and some tools. You can buy Play-Doh tools at a toy store or you can use things lying around the house. You need a smooth surface to work on, a hard rolling tool like a can or a jar, a plastic knife to cut with, and then you can use whatever objects you find around your house that might make an interesting texture or shape in your Play-Doh. Let's start with blue and make a letter A. Using both of my hands to apply even pressure, I'm gonna roll the Play-Doh out into a rope. Once it gets as long as I'd like it, I'm gonna trim off the end, here and here. Fold this like that, trim off this, and there's our A. For B, let's try something a little different. We're gonna roll our dough out flat using the side of our jar. Flipping it over as you go, so that you get a nice and even pancake. Now I'm gonna use my can to cut out two circles. Put them in the middle like this. And then for the rest of my pancake, I'm gonna cut out a long line like this and set it along the sides of my circles. Now to make it look more like a B, I'll use my bottle cap to cut out the center of each. Hey, bottle cap starts with B. And there we have our blue B. C is next. To make the C, I'm going to do another rope with purple. Rolling it out, nice and even. Trim off one end. And there's a C. But it's not that interesting, so I'm gonna use my knife to add little lines. C. Now to make the D, I'm gonna flip over my C and take some more of my rope I just made and put it on the end. To make it more interesting, I'm gonna add some dots with the back of my pencil. D for dots. D. For E, I'm gonna use purple again. And roll it out flat. Then I'm gonna use my knife to cut two equal strips. And I'll trim up the ends to make them neat. I put one here and cut the other into three parts. There's your E. Take away the bottom and you have your F. For G, let's use green. I'll make a nice long rope again. Curve it up. Put the end in, like that, and there's your G. For H, let's use our green to roll out a nice big pancake. And this time I wanna add some texture, so I'm gonna use one of my cans to roll ridges along it. Then using my knife, I'm gonna cut a rectangle. Then I'll cut out the top and the bottom, and there's our H. For I, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Now I'm gonna roll up each little piece and make them into a ball. start to form my letter I. 
and there's an eye. The cool thing about the little balls is you can easily rearrange them. To your next letter, J. Now K. So for K, I'm going to make a thicker rope than I've made before. Using my knife, I'll cut almost halfway down there and cut through the other side too. Flip it this way. Open up the legs and there's our K. For L, let's do another flat piece. So first I'll make my long rope. Then I'm gonna roll down with my jar, smoothing it out as I go. Trim off the end, cut a short piece, then a longer piece, L for longer. Put them both together, and there's our L. I'm gonna use a chopstick to add lines. Line starts with L. Okay, M, M, M. Let's start with a mound, like the letter M for mound, and roll it into almost like a triangle until it starts to look like a little bit of a mountain. Now we're gonna trim off the sides. Cut down the middle. And there's our M and all its beautiful mountains. Next up is N. Let's stretch out a piece of rope, nice and long. Just make an N very simply. Like that. To make our O, I'll use orange. And I'll roll it into the biggest pancake yet. I'll use my largest can to cut out a circle. Then I'll use my bottle cap to cut out the center. There's my O. For P, I'll cut a long strip from my leftover pancake and put it there. For Q, put a little strip in right there. There's our Q. For R, I'll cut the back of our circle off. We'll add a strip back in here and a little leg there. And there's our R. For S, I'm gonna use green again and do something a little bit special. I'm gonna roll out a rope, but make it thin at one end, and a little bit thicker at the other. And this will help you remember your S, because it looks like a snake. For my T, I'm gonna use the green again, roll out another rope, Turn the ends. And use my forks, tines, to put a little print in it. Or add texture, which also starts with T. All right, we're winding down. For you, let's take two long ropes and twist them together. Now I'm twisting them up. Turn them up like that, up like the U. And there's our U. Now our last letters are kind of similar. So we're going to do them in a special way. 
once again, we'll roll out a big pancake. This one happens to be pink. I'm gonna cut four equal length strips. First, let's make our V. There's our V. Then we add two more. There's our W. Now we take those two and flip them over. There's our X. And take one away. We have our Y. For our final letter, we use our strips again shape a Z. But let's make this Z something that kids can remember by giving it a little something extra. Let's give it stripes like a zebra. Z for zebra. And there we have it. That's our alphabet. Try making alphabet letters out of Play-Doh with your kids. Not only will they have fun, the hands-on activity will help them learn and remember their ABCs. Show me all the cool letters you make at home by hashtagging Mother Goose Club on social media. As always, we'd love to hear from you, so type in comments below, and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> in this video, we're gonna show you a really easy way to make Play-Doh at home. Hi, I'm Carolyn. And these are my friends Phoebe and Kira. When I was a kid, I spent hours making shapes and creatures and pretend foods out of Play-Doh. I loved the endless possibilities of a lump of fresh, squishy dough. <laughs> what I didn't realize was that those little mounds of dough were helping me develop my hand muscles and sparking my imagination. So now, I love watching these guys have that same creative experience and knowing the great benefits they're getting while they play. In this video, we're gonna show you a really easy way to make Play-Doh at home. This is a great project to do with kids because not only will they learn by helping you with the cooking, but they also have fun playing with the finished product. place for this project is the kitchen because we'll need to cook our dough on the stove for several minutes and plus we might make a little mess. The tools that we'll need are a small saucepan, a wooden spoon, a plate, measuring cups, and measuring spoons. The ingredients that we'll need are flour, water, salt, vegetable oil, cream of tartar, and food coloring and we'll also need some glitter because we're making our dough sparkly. Phoebe and Kira help me with the measuring, which is a great thing for them to learn. Okay, are you guys ready to add the ingredients? Yeah! Okay, first, one cup of flour. Phoebe? It's hard to come out. There you go. Good job. All right, second, we're gonna add one cup of water and I'll do that. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, third, a quarter cup of salt. All right, Kira, good job. Now we'll add one tablespoon of vegetable oil and I'll do that. It's very tiny. It is very tiny. One tablespoon. Here we go. Then we add two teaspoons of cream of tartar. Do you each want to add one teaspoon? Yeah. Okay. And with your finger, you want to level that off? Yeah, good job. Now right into the pan. Good job. So Kira, do you see what Phoebe did? Okay. And then level it off. 
Good job. Nice. Okay. Now it's time to add the food coloring. What color should we make our Play-Doh? Blue. Blue. Sounds good. So let's add 10 drops of blue food coloring to the pan. I can add five and Kira can add five since five plus five is 10. Perfect. All right, let's count together. One, One two, three, four, five. five. Good job. Okay, now Phoebe, your turn. One, two, three, four, five. Good job, guys. Now, with a wooden spoon, we stir everything together until it's mostly mixed up. Good job. Phoebe, do you wanna try? Yeah. Okay. Good job, Kira. Nice. It sounds bubbly. It does sound bubbly, doesn't it? Now we keep stirring until most of the lumps are gone. It already smells like Play-Doh. It does smell like Play-Doh. Once the mixture looks smooth, we put the pan on the stove over medium heat and continue stirring the mixture while it's heating. To be safe, I do the cooking part, but I make sure to show Phoebe and Kira what's happening in the pan as the mixture starts to change because it's a neat process to watch. After a couple of minutes, you'll start to see solid clumps forming in the pan. Continue to stir these clumps together until they form one giant doughy mass. It happens pretty quickly. Hey guys, come look at this. See, it's starting to look like dough. Once your dough looks like this, turn off the heat and take your pan over to the counter and dump the dough onto a plate. Now the dough is very warm, so I'm gonna let it cool for a few minutes until it's cool enough to handle. Now just knead the warm dough until it feels mixed up. Do you guys wanna try? Yeah. yeah. Okay, go for it. What does that feel like, Kira? It feels like sticky ice cream. Sticky ice cream. What do you think, Phoebe? I think it feels like melted ice cream. Like melted ice cream, yeah. Does it feel mixed up? Yeah. yeah. All right. And that's it. Let's add the glitter to make it sparkly. You got it. What color should we use? Pink. Pink? I like that idea. All right. So we just make a dent in the middle, like this, and then we add glitter, like that. And then just knead it until it's spread throughout. See, wasn't that easy? I love being able to make any color we want. Me too. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> what does it feel like? It feels like squishy dough. Squishy dough. I like to go like this. I'm yeah. glad we went with the blue. The blue is a pretty color. It is a pretty color. With pink sparkles. I like to poke it. Poke, 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 poke. I'm gonna stick it. Yeah. I'm gonna try and make a snail. If you store your dough in a plastic baggie or airtight container, it will keep for several months. Help us and other Mother Goose Club families learn by showing us how you and your kids did this project. We love to hear from you. So hashtag pictures and videos with Mother Goose Club and type stories into the comment section below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to be the first to hear about new videos. Bye! Bye. And... Bye! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> no. <laughs>
Goose Club Playhouse.